The weather has changed in Vancouver. It has been raining every single day. The perfect opportunity to play a little game on the Nintendo Switch, Link's Awakening. Yes. Now, Vic, we have to go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. When did you first play this game? I'm talking about the original Game Boy I, game. I had the Game Boy game, and I was digging through my collection, and I can't find it. Oh, no. And it's driving me crazy. <laughs> I have the DX version on my 3DS, so I did play this originally, and I did play the DX version of it on I the Game too. Boy Color, yeah. and I also have it on my 3DS, so I've played this numerable times, but it's kind of fuzzy. Me too. Because there's so many Zelda games now, and right? It, this is 1998 that the DX version caught up. Yeah. So when I started playing the new game, I was like, I kind of remembered it. It's very foggy, and it's kind of perfect for this game that Link is washing up on the shore. He doesn't know where he is. He's on a strange <laughs> island. That's how I felt playing we, this game. We have amnesia <laughs> on the game. We do. It's perfect. So we are the little hero warrior sort of in the boots of this little character. It again. felt like that. Right yeah. on the shores. Yes. And you're trying to find out what this island is about. What is that giant? Egg. We're not going to ruin anything no. in this review, no. but we're going to talk about all the components of it for yeah. sure. And we're going to do our best to not spoil any moments with our footage and stuff, but I know you'll let us know if we spoil. <laughs> I mean, that's the tough thing about reviewing games. It is. You yeah. got to show a little bit, but you don't want to show so too, too much. much. <laughs> This is a game that you do want to just take your time and you want to investigate. That's what I really felt when I was playing through the game is that every nook and cranny of this world, which isn't enormous, nope. you need to scrutinize. You can chop the grass, of course, like of in course, every Zelda yeah. game, and you can use your shovel. Yes. And so you have to do that. You have to collect lots of things like secret seashells and things, but it's almost like you want to go across every square inch. Just like the original Legend yeah. of Zelda, and burn yeah. every single bush. Yes. And what I loved is that you're playing with your daughter for a bit, yeah. and she's pointing out things that you hadn't even seen, and we're like, oh my god, this is unbelievable. It, it was blowing me away. I tweeted that my kid is a Zelda savant, and she like we beat Breath of the Wild together, and we beat Twilight Princess together, wow. and we played a little Link to the Past. She calls that the old square one. Is that the one with all the squares, like oh, the pixels? Geez. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and she oh, was wow. And when I told her I had Link's Awakening, she said, is that going to be the one with the little squares? And I said, well, it's kind of like the old school style one because right. it's a top-down one. But then she saw it and she said, oh, my God, Dad, you didn't tell me it looked like because it looks like little toys, this yes, game. Yes, and that's exactly it. So we'll get out the graphics out of the way to begin with. Yeah. They are beautiful. They're yes. pastel. They're like a claymation. Mm -hmm. It's like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer from the 1960s. Yep. Come to life. Yep. Uh, that's what my wife said. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'll never unsee that now. <laughs> but it's the graphics, first of all, are gorgeous. They drew everybody in yeah. from that first E3 trailer. We saw them. We're like, oh, my God. We have to play this game. I know that you were as fired up about the, oh, I, the announcement yeah. of this as I yes. was. I think it's wonderful. I mean, it's like a link between worlds that was on the yeah. 3DS a little while ago where they evoked the classic Super Nintendo. I love that they go back in time the and past. honor this fantastic work, you know? Yeah. It's a great concept. And we said it, I think, in our, uh, well, I said it in my first uh, thoughts on the thing, is that it's important for Nintendo to honor that stuff, but also it's a smart business move because a lot of people, you know, they're Rupalies. not like us. Yeah. They've never t seen this game. Yeah. And it's an excellent game. It was a, it was right. an amazing game, especially when you play it now mm. and you recognize that all of the design that's in this new game was in the old game. Yeah. And, and they did it on a little black and white game Game Boy and it was all there. It's incredible. And it's all there here. It's the yeah. same game again. Yeah. And there's one thing we have to talk about that's very fascinating to this Zelda game is it combined a lot of different things. It combined a jump button. Yeah. Can you believe we got a jump button in Zelda? I know. I it's know. ridiculous. And then we also got Super Mario <laughs> characters in this game. This is like a, a weird, yeah. crazy it, dream. It's come a to fever life. dream. It is. Yeah. <laughs> You'll bounce on characters that you know from the Mario world. Definitely. You'll be able to collect little toys. You can go to this trendy game with a little claw that you can go down and pick up stuff. You can pick up little figures that you'll decorate houses with. Yeah, you've got side-scrolling elements where you need to jump and hack and slash and swim. And it's incredible. And it's greatly charming. I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's one of the things I like about this game. It's so weird. It's weird, And yes. I love 2D, and I love overhead. Yep. And I'm like, this is perfect. I like all of these things together, yep. especially with the Mario characters. Just made it something really cool from the past and it is a 
product of that time. Right. And they were experimenting a little bit. I don't know if you'd see that again. I don't think they'd ever do that with a Zelda game again. Well, I think if this one does well, I think we have a pretty good chance of seeing, uh, know. you know, A Link to the Past and of some of the other ones. Yeah, right. There. But I'm saying combining the Mario characters into oh, a Zelda right. game. Yes. I don't know if we'll see them ever do that again. I really, uh, yeah, you bring up a good point. Yeah. I hope we do go back to the past yeah. and they remake Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 and A Link to the Past again with these style of graphics because they're so great. But I like that Nintendo, you don't, you can't always predict what they're going to do. It's no. like the Yoshi games, how they've done like uh, crayons and wool and they've done Zelda in a bunch of different ways. I yep. love that they're just like envisioning classic game design that stands the test of time and putting it out there in a totally different flavor. So even if you've played the Game Boy or the Game Boy Color game to death, even if it's on your 3DS like it is for me, yeah. it's still a fresh game when you jump into it on the Switch. You also get the ability to create your own dungeons as right, well in the yes. game, which is a fun little addition in this thing as well. It's something to, to pad on, yeah. to add on yeah. to this game, because we had to say one thing, the game is still the Game Boy length, unfortunately. It, yeah, it's not a massive experience. You can play in hero mode though, yeah. which makes it much more difficult. A lot less hearts are dropped for you. You've got to know where to find the fairies and to find the health buffs because you will get surrounded by bad guys and it you does do get tough. It yeah, does. And some of the bosses, most of the bosses are pretty easy, honestly. Yes, they are. But some of the bosses do present a bit of a challenge. And I found that because this is a game of scrutinizing the environment, the biggest challenge, especially in some of the later dungeons, is just keeping track of where to go in your mind. Right. You know? But that's the great thing. You have the icons you can put on the map to yep. say, hey, you know, I haven't been here. I'm going to mark that. Yep. Or that's kind of mysterious. I'll come back to this a little bit later. I really like that for this map feature. Yes. There. Yeah. And they've also simplified the mechanics quite a bit as well. So you've got the ever-present sword and shield buttons as opposed to on the original Game Boy, you only had two buttons, so you yes. had to put the sword and the shield on each one of the buttons. So now you've got more buttons that are working, but you don't have the same robust sort of inventory management that you would get in something like Breath of the Wild or even a Link oh, to no, the Past. Oh no, this is not this is not Breath of the Wild, yeah. and a lot of people are going to come in saying, "Hey, you know, this is a sixty dollar game. Yeah. I want Breath of the Wild." You're not going to get that. You're no. going to get a charming yeah. little game, uh, a remake of a Game Boy game from back in the day, yeah. with some beautiful graphics and some a tiny few little additions as the dungeon yeah. uh, thing you, you mentioned as well. Those are what you're going to get from this game, so know that going in. <laughs> It's so funny. I love that this is becoming a routine for us to get together and review Zelda games. massive Zelda games. We love them. Even smaller Zelda games. Yeah. But this is not, it's not that caliber. No, you know, it's, no. But it's still as Zelda. It's charming. Fan. Yeah, I love it though. It's I, charming. I, do you love it? I absolutely do love yeah. it. It was one of my most anticipated games of the year. Yep. It has lived up to those expectations. Yes, the length is a problem. We are saying that. Yep. But there's so much great stuff to do in this game. You know, there's all these abilities that you can get. You can get a bracelet. <laughs> Then you have all the musical instruments to get yep. as well. And the music, to do. and yeah. the music actually we has have all to get been, to that. Yeah. yeah, it's all been transformed for the modern era of gaming. So all the classic themes are in there, and there's some cheats and things like that from the classic game that you can put into this game, which is great. But it's all been modernized. <laughs> I mean, it's so charming. Yeah, it's that's, funny. That's the thing. We were playing it together, and there's a dungeon level, and Vic just kind of puts down the controller. He's like, listen to this music, and I'm like, I know. It's incredible. It's perfect, really atmospheric, really suits the game really incredibly well. <laughs> So I love it, and I love that Nintendo can do a Breath of the Wild and then do something that seems innately perfect for the, the Switch Lite. Oh, yeah. I mean, right? The new, on the same day. Yeah, yeah, the new era of Nintendo portability. It's really true. It's a perfect fit for it that. Is. But it, it really looks is. incredible in 1080p on a big screen, too. It looks fantastic, absolutely. A little bit of slowdown as you're going in between screens and stuff, but I really didn't care. That's small fry. I, 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 I didn't, didn't even notice care. that. I mean, no. I, I adore this franchise. It's not as epic as we've seen Zelda get, but still 
well worth your time. Yeah, and for them to revisit the past and bring this to the future yep. on the Nintendo Switch now, yep. that's pretty cool. I'm glad they did that. Plus the cutest damn Amiibos. I think oh, I have so mine far. ordered. It's yeah. coming from Best Buy. <laughs> I, I ordered that two months ago. <laughs> so what are you going to give The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening? I love this game. I love the environment. I love the egg on top of the island. I think there's so much charm to this. Yep. I'm going to knock it down a little bit because of the length of the game. It's not a huge long game, 10 to 12 hours. I will say a 9 out of 10, though. I'm right there with you. 9 out of 10 for me, too.